Hi guys, Darren from Protopilot here. And in this episode, I'm going to be revealing the brand new feature coming in Protopilot 6.1, which is gonna drop on March the 1st. So that may be today, unless you're watching this video as soon as I release it, then it's gonna to be tomorrow. And this new feature is gonna give you the ability to take any prototypes that you've created in Figma. So you've actually connected a bunch of frames together and it's gonna import them into Protopi. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at this feature really quickly. It's gonna show you some quick examples, it's really exciting. And I think it's gonna be a real game changer in terms of helping people that are used to putting prototypes together in Figma to get them into Protopi and then start to be able to get to understand how to use Protopi. Also, it's gonna really help custom transition creation for people who are using Protopi already. Um, just to um, state that you don't need to be using Figma to use the Smart Animate feature that's been introduced in Protopi 6.1. You can just go straight into Protopi and create your Smart Animates there as well. Okay, so there's kind of two parts to, to the feature. Okay, so let's dive into Figma and Protopi and look at a quick example. So I've got this Figma file here and it's a really simple app. It's a Photos app, so I've got three screens here. I've got a photo detail screen, I've got my home screen here with a bunch of images on it, and I've got this search screen over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect up the, um, the parrot image here from my home screen over to this detail view of, of the parrot, and I'm also just gonna do another connection between the tab bar here, search to, to connect to the, um, the search screen over here, okay? So let's get into it inside of Figma. So I'm just going to, Come over to this home view here. I'm going to find my parrot image. And just to kind of let you know how it works, it's very similar, if not identical to, to the way Figma's working. You need to make sure that your, your layer names are exactly the same between the two images. You also need to make sure that the hierarchy is the same. So you can see here that I've got an image called parrot2, which is inside a frame called images, and I'm gonna need that same structure on the on the target frame as well okay and this is gonna gonna be what i need to do to make it also work in protopi okay so with my parrot selected i'm just going to drag a noodle out attach it to my detail screen over here and i'm just going to change the animation from instant to smart animate okay it's going to leave the easing leaving it easing out and at 170 milliseconds okay so i'm going to come back to my home screen here i'm just going to grab the second thing I wanna connect up, which is this search icon here. I'm just gonna connect that up over to, to this search screen. I'm gonna leave this on a instant transition. And I'm also actually gonna just connect up the search here from my detail screen. And that's also gonna to connect to the search screen. And again, that's going to be on instant. So that's all connected up there. Okay, let's just run this inside of Figma just to make sure it's working correctly. It's gonna load this up here. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on my parrot and you can see I've got my Smart Animate and then I'm gonna tap on my magnifying glass here, so my, my icon for search and I'm gonna to go to the search screen. Okay, so that's all working in Figma. So let's just close this down. Come back to our Figma file here. I'm just going to switch over into design mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export these three, these three screens into Protopi. So I just need the Protopi plugin open. So I'm just going to choose that from the plugins drop down. There we go. Just going to shift select these three frames. So you can see I've got three, what as Protopi calls it, three scenes. They're all selected. I'm going to hit export. Um, before I hit export, just to let you know, if you're not familiar with Figma and Protopi integration, you do need to have Protopi running and you do need to have a file ready to accept your export, okay? So let's skip back to Figma, hit the export button. Okay, so that's going to export over to Protopi. Okay, so here it is coming into Protopi. Okay, import is successful. Okay, so I'm just gonna start on the home screen here. So I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna go straight into preview mode and try this out. So I'm gonna tap on my parrot. So you can see that I've got my smart animate 
And then I'm just going to tap on my search icon and you can see that I've been navigated to the search screen. So let's have a quick look and see what's happened here. So you can see here on the home screen, I've got two tap triggers. So within the export, two tap triggers have been added and inside the tap trigger is a jump response. So this is Protopie's version of jumping from one scene to another. So it's taken the noodle that you use in Figma and it's translated it into this jump response. If I, just with this jump response selected here, you can see that I've got access to all of the scenes that, that I've got in my, in my Pi file. So that's all of the frames that you've exported from Figma. And that's been auto selected for me. And you can see here within the transitions drop down, I've got this new smart option, which enables us to have that smart animate feature mapping from one to the other. Um, you can also, in ProPy, you can change the easing curve as well if you want to, if you want to do anything afterwards. You can do that here. Um, and then I've got my second tap trigger here, which was for the search icon, which is then jumping to my search scene, which I've got over here. And you can see that that jump transition has been mapped to the instant transition as I chose it inside of Figma. Okay, so I'm just gonna run that again. So I've also got scrolling working. This is something else that I set up in my Figma file. I set the, the, the frame to scroll and that's also mapped over into my Pi file as well. So there you go, Smart Animate, and then my instant jump. Okay, so you don't, like I said before, you don't have to do this inside of Figma. You can literally just do this directly inside of Protopie as well. So if I just remove these tap triggers, so if I was gonna be starting in Protopie, I could just do this in the same way. So I can select my parrot to image here, add a tap trigger, and then to that tap trigger, add a jump response. And I'm gonna select my photo detail scene and by default, it chooses Smart Transition. So let's just give that a preview. And you can see that works in exactly the same way. So it's really great that we can take our prototypes from, from Figma into Protopie, but we can also do it all inside of Protopie as well. Okay, so this is the new feature. There's the scoop of the new feature coming in Protopie 6.1, which is gonna be dropping on March the 1st. Um, we're really excited to, for you to try it out really to get your comments and views on what you think about this feature and how you think it might change your ability to do prototyping from Figma to Protopie, also how it's gonna augment that experience. I think one of the cool things about this is that you can start to create your prototypes or certainly do basic prototypes in Figma, but when you have to start layering on some of those more advanced features, like maybe you wanna capture real text input, for example. So just looking at my search screen here, you can see I've got a search input field, which obviously is just a graphic at the moment. Um, I could now start to add some advanced functionality that I could do in, in Protopie into this and start filtering this screen and making it work like a real search. So that's kind of the reason why you might want to do this, take your Figma designs into Protopie. One more thing to call out before I go is it's a one-way ticket. It's a one-way one street. You can't take your Protopie prototype back into Figma. So think of it as a starting point, a kicking off point from Figma. Maybe you're putting some basic flows together and you just wanna add some extra functionality, some more advanced prototyping functionality. That's kind of the scenario under which you'd wanna be using this kind of feature. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this sneak peek into Protopie 6.1 and Smart Animate. If you liked the video, then please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.